Hello YouTube and welcome to your 14th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be creating a simple calculator and you're going to be learning some things and using some things that you've learned in the past so that you won't forget them and it'll help you learn how to use stuff that you've already learned so in, in case you haven't practiced or anything. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create two functions. Let's make them double. So we'll do double add and we'll do int x and int y for the arguments. So basically our add function is going to use int x and int y and we're going to pass those from our other function into the add function. And we'll double subtraction or let's just do subtract and we'll do int x and int y. Now down here below our main, we're going to go ahead and type double add. And basically what we want to do is just add x. We'll just return x plus y. And if you didn't already know this, when you return statement, when you use the return statement to return something to the method that has called your function, or the function that has called it, you can add stuff together. So we're just returning x and y. You can also add strings together to create a longer string, or you can do other types of math and it'll still return the correct answer. And let's go ahead and do double subtract. And what I mean by that is, like in my last tutorials, I did it like this. I did, let's say the subtract function, I did int answer equals x minus y. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to, or you can just do it the easy way and return x minus y, and that'll still work just fine. So now let's come up here, and we'll create two variables. Int num1, we don't want to set it to a value yet and we'll create int num2. Uh, also we don't want a value yet. And now we're just going to create a character um, and we'll call it type. Now if you don't know what a character is from my, late, from my earlier tutorials, a character is pretty much a string but it can only hold one value. So let's say a or b or r. It only holds one value. So let's go ahead and we'll see out what do you want to do? And we can do A or S. And then we'll just see in type. And then we'll see out. You have selected And if you haven't seen this right here in my earlier tutorials, pretty much instead of using these in between everything you want to put in the string that you see out, you can just add a little and sign right there. So let's we'll go ahead and see out again. Please enter two variables. We'll see in num1 and then cn num2 okay so now that we have all this done we're going to go down here and create our switch statement so to do this you start off by typing switch so we'll switch and type so basically inside the arguments of switch you just put the thing that you want to test so with a switch statement you put the thing that you want to test and you have several different cases for that thing so let's say type you can have a case a or a case s either one and you could have multiple cases there's also a default case which will run if none of those cases are met so we'll just do case a and hold on let me scroll down here so case a we just want to see out no, wait, we don't want to see it. Yeah, we do. 
we want to see out add num1 and num2. So what we did is we just, whenever, if type is equal to A, then it's going to print out add num1 plus num2, or yeah, num1 plus num2. And what this function does right here is it returns x plus y. So whatever it has returned is going to be printed out. And after each statement that you want to do, like I could have multiple statements right here. Um, after each one of those, you go, you have to have a break. And what a break does is it ends your switch statement, which makes it a lot more efficient so it doesn't have to read through every single possible case. Now we'll just do case S, C out, we'll see out uh, subtract num1 and num2, and then we'll break. Okay, so this should work right here. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so what do you want to do, A or S? So if we type in A, it didn't work. Okay, let's enter two variables. Let's do 12, 32. And you can see the answer is 44. Now we had a little uh, mess up right there. It says, what do you want to do, A or S? All right, never mind. It works fine. Uh, it said A. So if we come over here, let's just take this out. I think this is from a different language. So if it works like this, just disregard what I told you about that. Sorry, I get my languages confused a lot. But uh, what do you want to do, A or S? Let's type S. So you have selected S. Please enter two variables. We'll do 32 and 56. And we get negative 24, which is right. So let's come over here and exit out of this. Now, one problem that we have with this program is that it exits after we do one calculation. And there's no way that we can go back and do other calculations. Now, uh, my time might be going up a little high on this, but this is something important that I wanted to teach you guys in this. So let's go ahead and come up here. And we're going to create a do while loop which you should know in my from my earlier tutorials. So let's do So what it's going to do is it's going to do this whole block of code right here one time no matter what. And we'll do while um, start over equals equals true. take out these parentheses and move them over here okay now that should work you can see it's telling it's giving us an error on start over so let's just come up here and create bool start over equals false so down here after it prints out the this the final result the add, add or subtract function that we created after it prints out the answer we're just going to see out would you like to start over so we're just going to be asking the person would they like to start over it's a simple question and let's go ahead and come up here and add yes or no and down here we'll just see in Let's come up here and we'll just make a character again. Let's make character uh, start over character. And so we'll just see in start over character. So now that the start over character, the user has entered in the character that they want to do, either yes or no, or Y or N. We're going to see what they chose and then set the start over bool accordingly. Now let's come over here and we'll just cut this and we'll paste it outside of our bool, I mean our bool, out of our, outside of our do while loop. 
so that the do while loop can ac access it. If it is inside the do while loop, it cannot be accessed by the loop itself. So let's come down here. And we could do a switch statement, but we're just going to do an if statement so you can get more practice in different things. And there's the phone. Oh well. So if start over character equals equals yes start over equals true and we'll do else or hold on let's do else if start over character equals n so if start o start over character equals n then we'll just st set start over equals false and we want to have something that will handle it if they typed any other character then wire in so we'll just make a simple else and we'll see out you have <coughs> entered an invalid character and then because they've entered an invalid character we'll just go ahead and set start over equals true so this will just take them back up to the top when they enter an invalid character now there's other ways that you can do this to have it send them back up to this but I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial that will take too long so right here this this all should work right here but now we're just going to add a case default to this and we'll do C out error uh, invalid calculation type. So what this does is a default case. Hold on here getting a couple errors but a default case what it does is it's there for anything else that you haven't covered in your switch statement so here we have switch type we have case a and case f s the default will cover anything else so let's say the type r it'll cover that so let's go up here and try and run this and we get an error okay sorry about that I had to go look that up real quick because I forgot how to do this in C++ because I haven't used it in so long. I'm using other languages. So just go ahead and take out the case in that. And it's just the default case right there. You don't have to type the word case. And it will handle anything else. So let's come back up here and try to run this again. Okay. So it says, what do you want to do, A or S? So we'll type add or just A. You have selected A. So we'll add 10 plus 15 and we get 25 and I forgot to do in line right there but you can still see that the program works so if I press yes it starts the program over and let's do subtract this time 23 minus 10 and it gives me the answer and if I click no okay so I finally got that error fixed um, I really couldn't find out what was going on in there. The code looked fine to me. Uh, but I just took out the start over uh, equals false from this one right here. And I just replaced it with return zero, which exits the program. So now if we go up here and run the program. I say, what do you want to do, A or S? So we type in A, just enter two variables and then let's go ahead and start over and we'll just do s this time and we'll subtract these two variables and it'll give me that and when I click no it resets the program so that was a pretty simple tutorial well never mind that was not a simple tutorial I don't know why I said that I just went into like autopilot mode but um, go ahead and look at this code make it yourself if you were watching and you didn't make it uh, you're not gonna learn as much as you would unless you just learn that way so um, make this yourself 
test it out and I want to give you guys a challenge before I leave I want to challenge you to clear the screen every time the program restarts so when they if they click yes or if they enter yes or why and it starts over clear all the, of the previous data from the screen and start over on a new slate so um, if you want to go ahead and make a video response showing me how you did that um, and how you came up with it that that would make me want to make more videos to see that my viewers are that active and that they want to learn more so um, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe